Do 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 and welcome back to another wacky, weird, wonderful Q and A episode. First of all, give this video a thumbs up. I just I usually ask for likes at the end of the video, but you know, YOLO it. Do it now. I should never have said that anyway. Just do it. click the like button now, and if you're not already, subscribe. That would really help me out. Also, follow me on Twitter because that's where I asked for all the questions. Like I, I tweeted out probably 45 minutes ago asking um, for you guys to send in the, the questions via Twitter to be featured in today's episode. So, and as well, first of all, before we begin, I've got a little bone to pick with you guys. Not, not necessarily too bad, but okay, I get quite a lot of questions to these. I tweet out, as I said, about 45 minutes ago, and I probably got today 30. And you know, this video is only going to be probably 8 minutes long, so I can only answer 7 or 8 in that time. So don't get too angry if I don't answer your question. I'll try and do it next week. But as I said, I get so many, so I'm just trying to fit the best ones in. I'm not saying your question's bad, but, well, I am actually. Your question was probably shit, that's why, that's why I didn't answer it. I'm not going to lie. I'm going to just generally be honest with you guys. So anyway, we will start with... Uh, we will start with at da underscore god or James and he asks who do you think will win the Champions League next season be realistic probably Bayern I, I think I mean their, their squad last year was just incredible and they've added some even better names to it this year with the likes of Thiago from uh, Barcelona I'm not, I'm not sure who else they've actually bought but you know oh, they've bought a Goetzer as well from Dortmund so two fantastic young centre mids cams whatever you want to call them um, that are going to tear shit up over the next couple of years. So I genuinely think it'll be Bayern. Thanks for the question. Next one comes in from Jordan L. McGowan, and he asks, what was your favourite FIFA and why? My favourite FIFA was probably FIFA 11, um, because that was the one that I first properly smashed Ultimate Team. I think it was that was the first FIFA that Ultimate Team was free on. I believe in FIFA 10 you had to pay for it, yeah, because I, I think I bought it in FIFA 10 and didn't really enjoy it. And then as soon as they made it free on FIFA 11, I was like, boom, I'm getting on this. On this. Um, I was going to say getting on this tin then, but that didn't sound very correct. So I was going to, um, so yeah, I, I smashed Ultimate Team. And just generally, it was a good game. There was no bullshit, no containing, none of that. Hold on a minute, I need to turn my mic down. Shut up. I've got my fucking. There we go. Um, there was no containing, like, so. Yeah, it was just it was just a class game. Finesse shots were very OP, but genuinely, I think FIFA 11 uh, was the best game. Thanks for the question. Next one comes in from F L Luca 10, and he asks, "What? Who was your biggest argument on Twitter with?" Now, I have had many an argument on Twitter. If you're not already following me, then you want to watch some beef. You want to sit there with your popcorn watching me argue with someone. I have an argument with someone on there. I'd say pretty much every day. Not. Before, okay, I'd happily admit that I used to get myself involved in community drama and, and that's what I talked about in the last episode. The worst thing about being in a community is the petty arguments. And trust me, I was at the forefront of most of those six months ago. I was the main cunt, you could call it, in the community. Um, and that's why a lot of people don't like me now, but fair enough. Um, I'm literally like Marmite, you either love me or you hate me. But uh, the biggest argument I had, I, I'm not sure, I've had so many... I've had so many with so many different people. Um, biggest argument with someone. I'm, I'm not quite sure, as I said, because I've had so many. But if you want to follow, follow me on there, then you want to watch some beef, then definitely go ahead and do so. Sorry I couldn't think of the most... I can't remember. I really, I really can't think of one. But anyway, thanks for the question. Next one comes in from at CSMC7, or Connor. And he asks, what's the main reason for starting YouTube? Um... Now, I've been asked this loads and loads and like loads of times, not just generally on Q&A questions, but generally like when I've been uh, speaking to subscribers and stuff. Um, a lot of you, if some of you may not know, I went to school with KSI, believe me or not, it's true, I'm not going to sit here and lie, I'm not, per I'm not a person that would do that. I'm not going to sit here and say we were best friends, because we're not, I think he was in the year above. So, you know, I saw his channel booming and growing well, and so I knew him before the YouTube fame and all that sort of stuff. So... You know, I just thought, why not? Let's give it a go. And I, I, without sounding cocky or arrogant, I feel like I'm quite a funny person. I can make pretty much anyone laugh with just the silly crap that comes out of my mouth. So I thought, why not? And I'm pretty decent at FIFA, pretty decent at COD. So I thought, why not um, give it a go? And I must have been doing something right, because otherwise I wouldn't have 5,000 odd of you sitting here right now. Obviously, not 5,000 of you watch this video. But uh, yeah, so... Thanks for the question. Next one comes in from Dale Design, and he asks, "Would you rather eat a human or die?" I'd rather. Mm. Would you rather eat another human or die? 
That's very, very weird. That's cannibalism. It depends whether they were dead or not and how they were cooked and all that sort of stuff. If it was a matter of life and death, obviously you'd eat the human to survive. But I... Nah, fuck it. I'd eat the human anyway. I would. I genuinely would. Thanks for the question. Next one comes in from UT Hendo. And he asks, who is your favourite defender in real life? Um, favourite defender in real life? Obviously, I'm a Spurs fan. I'm trying to try and not be biased here. But I think Michael Dawson has been solid for so many years. And last year, he was an absolute outstanding centre-back. He used to, he's just the king of blocks. He just throws his body on the line. He just doesn't feel pain. Um, but apart from that, who else do I really like? In the, just abroad or any, anywhere like that. Um, ooh, I like Ashley Williams. His company. He's a fantastic centre-back. Um, Wing-backs. Uh, Cohen Trow I really like. I hate Marcelo. Uh, I'm not sure two others. I'd probably have to say Michael Dawson or Vertonghen last year were absolutely class. Thanks for the question. Next one comes in from Luke Uz 12 and it's another one that's been asked many, many times. Why did you choose the name The Premium Rap? Now, this is... Um, okay, basically, so a couple of years ago, I think it must have been two years ago now, um, I obviously I had an Xbox for a while, and if you guys don't know, on Xbox, it, you, you have to pay to change your gamer tag. And so they, they had like a half price deal on to change your gamer tag. And I was scrolling through some of the suggested options because they obviously on Microsoft they give you some weird fucked up ones like like Turtle Basher and stuff, some shit like that. Anyway, one of the one of the suggested ones was like Premium something or something like that. I think I can't actually quite remember, but I'm pretty sure I based it around that and just changed the name, and then obviously came up with Premium Rap. When I when I decided to make YouTube videos, I wanted to come up with something that was that was unique, you know. If you see the premium rat, you're gonna you're gonna remember who I am, hopefully, because it's a very very weird name. So you, that's that's and that's who I am. So that's that's why I picked picked that anyway. Next to the question, a couple more now. Next one comes in from WoodzyHD, and he asks, "Would you rather shit out a bowling ball or piss razor blades?" Thank you for the weird fucked up question. Um, would you rather shit out? A, oh, shitting out a bowling ball would fuck you. It actually would. But so it are. If you were to shit out a bowling ball, you're it would split you in half. It would split your back in half. But pissing out razor blades would say bye bye, bye bye to your cock. So I don't know. I'd rather shit out a bowling ball. There you go. I'd rather shit out a bowling ball. Thanks for the question. And the last one comes in from at Yid V2 Dan or Dan, who makes fantastic Spurs videos. By the way, if you guys any Spurs fans out there, he makes like montages of. of the Spurs goals, he's done like a, a season review um, and, and, and just player montages, like real life clips, so if you want to go and check that out, I'll leave the link to his channel down in the description um, and he asks, do I do I go brave and get bail on the back of my shirt next season? I'd say at the moment, yes I to be honest, I genuinely don't think he'll leave, I don't think he I don't think he'll leave, I don't think Suarez will leave and I genuinely don't think Rooney will leave either, so that is pretty much it. I'd say go and get it. But anyway, that's it, guys. If you did enjoy this video, give the video a thumbs up. If you haven't already, I'll ask you to just like the video. But if you haven't done it, do it now. Add this video to your favourites as well. If you want, I'm not really bothered. Leave a nice little comment downstairs. Um, not the genitalia error, but downstairs on the comment section. And that is pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys later on. Goodbye.